Ah, oh, man, we did a move. I threw him out there, been here about five minutes. We'll see, it's shallow water, something different, looks cool. I mean, during low tide, it's kind of a, a rocky beachy area. Good layout. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we're here, I, I wanna fish, I wanna catch a fish, at least try to catch a fish. We'll see. All I brought today are leftover drinks. A little bit of water, a tiny bit of, look at this, <laughs> that's all I have. I don't have very much drink. This one has ice. Oh man. Oh well. Uh, we'll make it. We'll make it work. We'll try our best to to kind of sip it slowly. Uh, Evan TV, what's going on, buddy? Appreciate all y'all coming in CVA. Twelve people ready here. Uh, four thumbs up for the for the move. Man, I can't believe it. Man, I was I was hoping to fish my um my PB spot, but it just didn't happen. Hello, Mr. Chunky, sir. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you very much. Uh, is it Bertha? Hope I didn't butcher your name. That's uh, <laughs> man. That's that's what I do. That's what Chunky does. Uh, I think yeah, enough. Uh, yeah, I think I had enough ice for one day. Exactly. Shallow water. I mean, we could always go back to that little, uh, not little, that dock we were fishing at yesterday. We didn't catch anything there, so. I don't know, let's just try shallow water for an hour or so. And if it just doesn't work out, it just didn't work out. It just wasn't meant to be, but what's going on, Jeff? Appreciate you coming. Rick, let's go. That's right, let's go. No quit and chunky. Well, here's the thing is that I, I would have never done a double move if it wasn't for me being live on YouTube, you know, trying to put out a, a live stream or a video, whatever. For me, I, I, I'll be honest, if it wasn't for YouTube, I would have just went home. But we were able to scout this area out yesterday and it looks really, really cool during low tide. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, it's... um. There's a lot of rocky area, be a little hard to, to net a fish, a big fish, but we're here, we're doing it. <clears throat> Watch your stream. Go to work. <clears throat> Appreciate you coming in, Jeff. Yeah, it's, uh, we'll see. Man, it's, it, this will be a good takedown for a nice takedown view right here. Can y'all see the tip on this rod? I, in my screen, I cannot see it. I mean, it's, it's very, very close. I just don't want to go up anymore. Oh, we got the airplanes going across right here. You just shovel five inches of snow. I don't think we have a whole lot of snow coming in, but it's supposed to start. Fat boy, what's going on? I hope you get a 33 pounder. Well, shallow and cold. Everyone says go shallow and warm. Well, it's not that easy to find shallow and warm. Yeah, I think there's a spot I can I can maybe go to, but uh, I think we have a better chance here. I really, really did. Michael Murillo did tell me when I was speaking to him earlier, he's like, hey, if you're gonna go there, bring a bait rod which I did not, I did not, but um, anyways, we got three rods out, we are in Virginia, and uh, can y'all see back there, what my, the chat's right, I think y'all can see the Ferris wheel, I, the chat's in my way here, oh, there it is, that's the National Harbor right there, so it, this, this is a very, very wide section of the Potomac River, very, very wide, what's going on, fantasy football player 38, that's my buddy, that's my buddy, we, 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 uh, we did a collab when he was doing YouTube. We did a collab together, believe it or not. I think uh, he took a break from it. And a lot of people do that, that's okay. I'm trying to get a good view, guys. Donald Ward, what is going on? Appreciate you coming in. I just noticed you're not a moderator. You've been, a, you've been around for a long, long time. Uh, let me see here. You cannot keep up with all the lives. Yeah, I believe is what I saw is Leave Evans. He goes live every single day. Uh, Pontoon Jody is on the boat. She was having trouble. I, I well, I was listening to it. She was having trouble um, with audio. It seemed. I only have one cell phone cell cell phone bar here at this. But I don't know why. I mean, it is DC area. So if, if we're lagging, if we have poor quality picture, let me know. I I, I don't like to watch live streams. I have just looked terrible or sound terrible either. It just, it, it kind of becomes a little bit annoying, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, Lee Lee Evans is live and I think Ernie hit the live button as well. It looked like, uh, to be honest, yeah, yeah, there's only so much you could do out, out where you live. I'm, I'm with you. Team Snagging Whiskers, what is going on? Catch a big one today. Well, it's possible. It's possible. This is gonna be, it could be a hit, or it can be a miss, just like yesterday. Yesterday we were about, let's just say, 200 yards that way around around this bend, 
on the dock deeper water this is a this is a let me show you what i'm talking about let me get up oh let me get up appreciate you coming in tyler all right here we are right here you see that bridge you, you see that famous bridge and and this is um what, what do y'all call what is proper terminology for this i know you when you hear the word bay you think of salt water but the channel the deep is over there all of this right here oh come on focus um it's just a huge flat huge huge flat it goes way way over there um i believe this is one of the widest areas of the potomac river from that point there from there all the way to the national harbor for my little boat oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness it takes me a long 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 time so where i launch from which i don't recommend doing at this time of year what's going on dv appreciate you coming in I don't know why this iPhone's having trouble. Maybe my camera lens is dirty. Uh, never had that problem with an iPhone. Anyways, the marina's over there. And it takes me a long time to go from there all the way over here to my fishing spot. Just because it's... And that's the closest one. I used to travel way, way further than that. So once again, what I was fishing at yesterday, where y'all saw me get skunked, was around this bin a dock and you can see the famous the famous um woodrow wilson bridge right there there's the casino straight straight that way is the casino national harbor and look at this area it's pretty cool during low tide it's fishable now you got to keep in mind during high tide super high tides i'm sure regular tide it, it goes up to there you can see the erosion you would probably have to fish from up there but you know this is a good time to look possibly why you know you would lose a rig as you know you're really in you have all these rocks you have this this you know this uh tree branch or whatever look at that wow look at that tree just laying there that was placed here from from the from the floods i guess it's a cool area i, I like it i like it to me it's a it's, it's a good fishing spot but um not sure if it's a good winter fishing spot fishing the mid the the Tennessee, Mid Tennessee, appreciate you coming in. All right, let me let me get this back down. Oh, here we go. Eel, eel on all the rods today, guys. That's what we got. Uh, what uh, what depth charts say there? Took I don't know. I don't know. I know as you go down that way during low tide, you I can see mud when usually there's water. You, water levels in the winter time are much lower, so you can you can see bottom out. If if I had a guess, I would have to say maybe three, maybe four feet deep. Depends on on, on the tide, but I don't know. Someone will let let us know. I, I I mean I just gave away all the pinpoints where I'm at, so someone would would chart this out really quick. There's a buoy. Can y'all see that buoy, the, the no wake area buoy? Because it's, you know, no wake and plus I'm sure it gets shallow over here. Uh, is Mr. Murillo in the house? Let me see here. Woohoo, Chunky, let's go, let's go. Brown's in the house, appreciate you being in here. All of y'all, every single one of you. Man, I just want to see a rod go down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Find, find an arrowhead. Yes, I just came through. Y'all, y'all saw where, where we're at. You're exactly right. There's possibilities. Uh, right where I showed you the basketball courts, there's an old, old battleship or some kind of ship. The wood is like it's put up there. Really, really cool. I had no idea all that stuff is there. I mean, it's crazy how we have so much cool stuff and it's right here. We, I don't even go. I don't even know. Guerrero, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate the big skip. <clears throat> Jose, fishing adventures. John Murillo's in the house. How's everything today? Well, <laughs> a kind of a rocky start. I'm not sure if you picked up on my first live stream. This is uh this was not my first spot. Once again, already chunky already did a double move, and that was quicker than expected. <clears throat> here's the here's the good honest thing. I did throw out there and I had been fishing. I would say from the time I you know threw them out and the time I reeled in, they had been in there a good 20, 30 minutes, and I'm a big believer. I can almost judge a, a fishing trip if you have a hit in the first 20, 30 minutes. You gotta have a hit or some, some kind of action has to be going on. 
Dallas Liberty, appreciate you coming in. Say hello to Backlash. Uh, there's many. That that is right. DMV has a great point there. A lot of people don't know that. There's lots of ships that are that that are that are around the Potomac area. That is correct. That is 100 percent correct. See, um, nine ten fishy. That's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna go shallow, and we'll see if if, if that fish is hungry and it's in the area, it smells that, that eel. We'll see. I I don't. You know, people always say go deep, go deep, go deep. Well, there's only so many sections to go deep, and most of them are iced over right now. So, we tried deep yesterday, as deep as we could on that little dock. You know, you're going to seventeen twenty. I mean, unless you're gonna go sixty, that's just not gonna happen for the bank. It's just not gonna happen. Oh, winter time goes, go in 45 minutes. What is, I'm not sure what that means with DMV. Potomac has, has lots of history. Bam! Exactly. Great, great point there. Not that I know it. <laughs> not that I know it. But there's history here. There is history. Wow, the water's just flat, flat, flat. This will be like a super... Woo, man, 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 I read it. I read it. I'm not, it made me laugh, and we'll just leave it at that, kid. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. You talk about a perfect day to be on the boat. Today's it. But now with these uh, sheets of ice, we talked about that yesterday. Those giant sheets of ice. If I had double anchor and that, that catches my anchor, what's your boat going to do? Straight down, instantly instantly you wouldn't have any time to cut that rope uh, 45, minutes. 45 minutes between cast it's like like bring in and, and yeah we can do that and we'll find out if it's a if it's a snaggy area we have two on i know i said i wasn't gonna do sandy cooper but i just don't take time to to so we have two on sandy cooper and one on carolina rig and there's there's movement here because i can see the leaves the leaves are moving the leaves are moving <clears throat> You wouldn't think there would be water movement, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you these little, little, little leaves on. Look, look at those little leaves around the bank area. Out there. Well, you're having our time, but they're, they're moving out. There's movement here. It's not even that branch that's out there. You can see it moving. You can see it against the log right there. Come on, Rods. Come on. Come on, camera. I don't know. I kinda I kinda like this spot. I really, really do. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Alright. So once again, where I launch from, way, way over there. I have to go across this whole whole bay and and what i've learned is i need to cut across that way and then come because i i've bought them out at least twice and i've heard of big boats that go crazy through there and have uh, blown lower units not props i'm talking about lower units there's a huge complaint and it, it's posted there if you launch from there you're being warned you're warned <clears throat> It's not It's not a bad spot, but you very rarely go here. Yeah, Hector Reyes knows this these areas. Um You know, as 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 we talk, keep continue talking about it. We're battling nice, so anyways. We're here, we're here, we're here. There was one guy who who had told me at the National Harbor that also has a huge somewhat somewhat semi semi alike bay like this. And he catches big fish from over there. He does. Anyways, we're here. We're going to go with the Pink pink Pond Princess. What's going on? Appreciate you coming in. I'm trying to set up my tripod work. It's not that easy. We have rocks and gravel everywhere here. Let me show you what we're dealing with. There you go. That's what we're dealing with. Anyways. Look right below. Yeah. Look right below erosions oh right below the for arrowheads you're talking about 
Yeah, he's talking about this erosion right here. He wants me to go. <laughs> the erosion right there. The erosion. He wants to, I guess, look for arrowheads. Right now, we're looking for cats. But I'll, <laughs> if we definitely need to get, get that board, we might, we might start looking for arrowheads around here. Oh, M Mason would absolutely love it. Love that. If I brought him an arrowhead. Fishing in gold. That's 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 uh, my new buddy. I think he's more loyal than <laughs> the rest of the the Potomac anglers. <laughs> Ooh, Mike Chavez, what's going on, Mike Chavez? Yeah, if y'all don't know fishing in gold, y'all should start. Uh, he's gonna start getting more into the YouTube thing. He was showing me some nuggets. I don't know if he still does or or he used to mine for gold on the Upper Potomac. Right, Upper yeah, Upper Potomac. Man, I'll be honest. I don't want to lie here, but he showed me a nugget. That look. Hey, Jason. Boom, 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 boom. That's what we need. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Woo. I don't want to lie, but he showed me a nugget. He had a dime. He had a dime just to show the size of gold. It looked like it to me on the picture. It looked like it was this big. It was huge. And he showed me a bunch of like, like uh, frosted flake golds. Now he said that is rare. He did. He said it's rare. Most of it is coming in a, in a in a powdery, not that fine powder, but it's cool that the Potomac has gold. We have gold. I'm gonna bring a pan next time. Woo! That would be sweet to get my little bit of gold. Hola, hola. Yeah, Mike Chavez in the house. Mike Chavez. Come on, Mike, when you need to go fishing again? <laughs> You're like, no, I'm not going with those sheets of ice. I believe, to my eyes, it looks like the sheets of ice are way over there. They're pushed on that side. Some are over there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. You fish. Uh, you fish. I can wait. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate that. Jason for the boom, 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 boom. In my book, <laughs> I'm easy. I'm easy. I quickly earns you a moderation. Steve Mosley. What's going on, Steve Mosley? MB Heritage Farms. Appreciate you coming in. Anyone who's just coming in doesn't know. I'm sure y'all saw my first video. I was all set up and happy. I was fishing my PB spot from the bank, which is 52 pounds. There was a sheet of ice that was several hundred yards away. It looked like at least 200 yards away. I set up and I'm there trying to go get going. And once again, that sheet comes and all my, my lines go right in. And we had to move. We, we didn't fish there long. I mean, I had been there at least 15, 20 minutes. We're here. We're here. Money, money, money. Let's go. Woo. There's a bunch of kids picnicking over there. With, I guess like a school field trip brought, brought the kids to that one white house that I showed you down there that's historical. They're going to say, let's leave. Let's leave. There's a crazy man over there. <laughs> it's a crazy man. Hey, Chuck, let's go. No skunk today. I know. Let's do this. We, we let's, um, let's put on the Brian B. When I say Brian B, it's because he sent it to me, okay? It's just the gift. Let's put on the skunk hat. Bam. Let's put on the skunk hat. What time is it? We can put it on for at least 30 minutes. Let's do I could try to see if I could do an hour, but... Those that don't know, Brian B gave me the, because uh, I was known as a skunk master, and I, I don't want that title again. I my I got skunked yesterday, but the two last years before that, we had caught a total of six fish. So I don't need this on top of my uh, my dead cat. There's no wind today. Absolutely no wind. Wow. Mike Chavez, if you're still in here, you're gonna have to show me one day how to, or I'll have to go wherever you at how to set up a gill net. This. This section, I believe, this is just me talking. Don't take, don't, don't listen to Chunky. You get you in trouble. From here to that barge, from here to the barge, that barge that always sits there, all of this right there, on my book, that's Virginia Waters. And I can almost guarantee, if you're risky enough, not to lose your proper, you know, whatever, I could, I could imagine putting a gill net right there. Someone's going to say, oh, no, 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 Chunk, you got it all wrong. Well, that won't be the first time. That won't be the first time. 
Come on, Ross, let's go. Let me know, guys, when uh, Ernie, if they're what what they're if they catch something. They're an Anacostia. I'm glad the ice is not there right now. A great hat, yeah, it was a gift. It was a gift. It was cool. I had no idea who sent it to me at first until until they told me a couple of weeks ago. On the Ohio, yeah, it's it, it slows down pretty much everywhere. It really, really does. Ooh, off the river. Well, I know where there's a creek. I just need to know. I I gotta start looking at videos. Now, as much as who was talking about it, I, I heard this on on um, Green Machine. Dan and Stan were talking about it. That gill nets have to be at least a certain size mesh. I don't know what, what that means to stretch. I guess they're stretchy mesh. Um, and and they're, they're sold in 300 feet long. But the license only lets you use 100 feet. That's what that, it was kind of awkward information that I was kind of taking in. But I'm learning. I'm listening. I am listening. Wait, wait. Chunky or... Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I am. I'm, I kind of showed exactly where I'm at. Uh, if you were watching me yesterday, I did walk this way with the camera and we scattered out. Yes, Jesse, we're back. We're back. Want to be outdoors. Um, it's the size of the hole in the net. It's the size of the hole in the net. Yeah, and they were talking about it. What did they say? Inch and a half to two and, two and a half inches or something like that? They were just, um, they were some giving a lot of information. It was just too quick for Chunky. It's <laughs> too fast. Me yeah, me mesh, whole size, mesh, whole yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see here. They usually come in 50 to 100 feet. Okay, okay. I don't know why I heard that the one they had was 300 feet and they could only use 100 feet of it or something like that. Uh, any, fish. any fish, but no, no, we're, we're, we're trying. We're, we're here, uh, Flow, Flow Angler. If you're just starting to watch me, you didn't catch my first video. We moved. Once again, the, the ice got me. I had just set up just like this. I had just got there and got taken out so let me tell you when when i'm driving my little boat late at night going back ee, through this little not little this huge flat wow i can see like little bait fish jumping everywhere because i have my headlamp facing forward and i can see just like movement i'm like golly i feel like stopping and well i don't have a cast in but whew, that would be a good time uh jason i'm not sure i'm not sure I'm, I'm trying to do everything i can in my power you know it's um things are just not lining up on my end over here you know it's just uh work has been tough has been slow uh yeah just just i don't, I don't know I, i'm trying to see what i can do to get down there i really am steve adams in the house Thank you, Steve Adams. I'll have to go back and screenshot. I don't know if I can screenshot right now and not mess things up. At least two inches to four inches. Wow. All right. All right. Uh, howdy, real time. Is John Parker in the house? I just tried to do something. It was frozen. <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 uh, it's becoming tough. This this winter has been pretty cold, and I'll be honest, I have never fished during the winter time. But we're you know we got YouTube, and instead of being at home sitting down on the couch, uh, Fracture Fix gave me a big old boom. He's like, "Go get you some eel," and that's exactly as soon as I picked up Mason from school, we we went straight, and I they only had a few more eel left. And I got, they were very small. They were small. I think I got one, 1 1.8 pounds. So a little bit under two pounds. And, um, I think it was five eels. So they're about half, half a pound of eel. And that's kind of what you want. You want that smaller eel anyways, right now. Cause if you get that big fat eel and you get smaller catfish, they're just not gonna, just, they're not gonna inhale it. Happy, that's right. Happy birthday, Dana. That's right. I, uh, I caught that, that the tail end of the stream. Happy birthday. That is correct. Uh, it's frozen everywhere, I guess, besides, F that's right, <laughs> it's frozen everywhere besides Florida. Got that right. Two dollars. 
Ah, uh, here's some luck to get your first boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Well, the first fish, but technically the second boom, boom. <laughs> technically, we got a, we got another boom, boom for five dollars. But I appreciate it. Chunky will take it. Chunky will take it. Chunky what rigs are using. These two have the same uh, Carolina Sandy Cooper rig. No, I'm sorry. Sandy Cooper rig. That far one does have Carolina. So we do have two rigs. That far one, which I threw. Believe it or not, from first rod, which is cast this way, and that one, there's got to be a probably about a 100-yard a spread, I'm guessing. Maybe not that much. I don't know. That there's. I try to spread them out. I try to really go this way, middle, and far that way. I could move that one even further that way. We might do that. Uh, let me hit the no non-notifications. I'm getting bombed here. Focus, focus. Stop. All right, we'll see if personal works. I have my second phone in case my wife calls me. Let me just, oh, it, oh why does it do that over here? I didn't want to do that. I have my second phone, so whatever I do here, it doesn't here. I don't know why it does that. It must be blah, 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 tied into something. Your, your boat wrap is full, so there's a lot of boats going in. Yeah, well, you, look, look, look where you <laughs> look where you, you live. Money, 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 money. Let's go. Let's go. You know, um, you get a fishing report from, from you know, they, they said the bear break pressure was going to be dropping. The fishing should be great. And, and when I hear that, you know, it's just an opinion. Everyone has their opinion. I'm like, hey, you know what? If I'm able to go fishing and give it a shot, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I'm here. I'm giving it a shot. Where's that bear make your pressure now? Jeremy, what's going on, buddy? Woo! It's snowing here today in Ohio. Yeah, y'all got a lot of snow there. Wow, man, I feel... I mean, I feel bad for your back, shoveling all that snow. Oh man, it looks. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, we we got snow today. Later today, around three, four o'clock. You know, it's gonna start snow. I don't know how many inches. I don't think we we don't. I don't think it's a major snow storm, but. You know that that sun wants to peek through those clouds right now. I feel pretty good. I, we just need a fish. We need a solid takedown. That's why you're going out fishing tonight. So am, am I early? <laughs> Someone said after 930, the pressure should you know, start dropping. So that's my time frame. You know, the kids are at school. I drop them off. I go home, pack up and pick up an eel from my fridge and let's go. Let's go. Uh, stone, what about stone, stonefly? I'm not sure what stonefly is. All right. Uh, they said one inch and we got three so far oh boy oh boy true them uh, so cool. no let me tell you yesterday i was fishing on that dock and i was fine and all of a sudden that last like 40 minutes something happened i had the wind coming from where i was positioned kind of from my backside and then we just had a wind direction started hitting me from the face and i started to get cold really fast i'm like man something's going on and then and then fishing in gold he was out fishing way way on the other side of the potomac and he told me the same thing he says man chunky it just started to get cold my fingertips y'all heard me i was like man my, my i was starting to get cold but not today i don't feel it today i really don't i don't it's because of the wind i think that we had that headwind Kayak Mike's in the house. What is going on, Kayak Mike? Kayak Mike is is the one who works really hard on. Uh, I'm guessing it's his website. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> but he's the one who. Um, how can I say this? Gives the final word on the measurements. All those people who want to do a, a a measurement on kayak on catfish tournaments. I think they go through his website, and uh, he's got the he's got the final word on that. Ah oh, damn. Um, Chad, field to waters. 
driving and listening, be careful. I do that all the time. That's <laughs> when someone says hi to you, just just let it go. Don't don't go. Cool, you fish in Miami River. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Not me. The wind will cut through you. Well, that's when I put on that uh, that catfish jacket. My body's fine once I put that jacket on, but my fingers, I can just feel them. I did bring gloves, but like I said, I'm not cold. Morning, Chunky. Appreciate you coming in, Larry. Oh, Ohio. Yeah, I keep hearing Ohio. We have a lot of people in here from Ohio. We got a lot of people. Okay, <laughs> Six-hour drive. Wow, where are you going? Four to go. Woo. I'm going to try to stay. I've always said, you know, it, it gets fun. Well, I struggle when the rods are not moving, but if the conversation gets good and my energy stays, you know, at, at a certain level, I can hang. But <laughs> I can only do so much. But I appreciate you being here, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, when, if you wouldn't mind throwing a field to waters link. We got to get it back to a thousand. When y'all say, what does that mean, Chucky? He started all overs. His channel, his old channel, he's uh, kind of doing away with. He started all overs. He had a thousand subscribers. He had the watch hours. He couldn't get AdSense to, to help him out at all. So he started um, a whole new channel. That's uh, that's uh, that's tough, but we're going to get him there. We're going to get him there. Mac! Anything yet? Not yet. Mac! Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, that's exactly what we're having here. Well, I think they're wider than that. They're whew, probably 100 yards wide, I would think, here. They're huge. Uh, I'm going to stand up and show you where we're at. Just, um, I, I think this area is pretty cool. I mean, look, look at this. <clears throat> I, if it was summertime and it was like this, I bet you Mason would have a ball right here playing through all this stuff here. They did request to go look for arrow, arrowheads. We might, through this erosion right here, they're like, go check right down on the erosion right there. They might be arrowheads. El Gato Azul, como esta mi amigo? So who remembers I was fishing yesterday right around this bend? I was right over there and we walked, I walked this trail. And they're like, go fish over there, Chunky. Well, we're here now, we're here now. This is shallow, 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 shallow. Y'all know that famous bridge. When I'm on my boat, you always see it on the background, depending on, on the tide, how which way it's facing, which way it's going. Um, who's got a few videos? Uh, what's his name? He doesn't come around no more. He doesn't like the Potomac anglers anymore. <sighs> what's his name? Anyways, he's been out there fishing, and he tears them up on the boat. Woo, he's got some big, big, big catfish. Just walk around. Look, look, look at all this. Low tide, you're fine. You're fine. You can set up here. It's a little slippery. Oh, we found the boat. That's mine. That's mine. Woo! Chunky found a boat. Let's go. I got a boat. It's got, it's got, does it have an engine? Woo! I'm dragging. I'm, <laughs> that is mine. Look at that. Look at that. Vamanos! <laughs> Come help me! Ah. I got a boat. I don't care what anyone says. That's not yours. It's mine now. Forget the fishing. <laughs> Forget the fishing. Oh, I just cramped up. Oh, I just cramped
What do y'all think? What do you think? A <laughs> new boat! Woo! I'm gonna put my 9.9 on there. Bubbles! Let me go check my rods. <laughs> my rods do anything? He cares about a small catfish. Check. Got a new boat. Woo! This thing, you clean up, this thing is brand new almost. You're like, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at that, guys. We just pulled this out. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna pack things up and I'm I'm gonna put this thing on my wagon and bubba nose. I'm out. Mason has <laughs> his own boat. Woo! I love it. Check that out. Let me turn it in so y'all can hear my the conversations through the directional mic. Here we go. Wow. In case you want to go make some money, show only snow, buy him. Let's go see. Let's go see if we get an anchor too. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find an anchor. The rope's there. Hold on. Yeah, I know that's a bad position, but... Can you all see a little bit? Let me see if there's a 9.9 .9 down here. <laughs> Let me see if there's a 9.9 but I bet you it's here somewhere it probably it probably bumped off we're going down we got some high high quality rope chunky's too cheap to buy this good type of rope buy him we got rope where's the 99 at where is the 99 
body. You know who's just coming in and curious what we found? Let me show you what we just. <laughs> yes! We got rope. Donkey's gonna huff and puff some more. Bam, look at me. Look, look, look at me. Yes! Here's the question. Richard, Richard, where are you, Richard? Do I drop the boat in the water, in the water, and row it, row it all the way to the marina over there? Or do I <laughs> try to find a way to put on my wagon? Oh, man. What is Brian B saying? That I'm going to sink that boat. Stop being mean, Brian B. That's Chucky's new kayak. You better believe it, buddy. I can sell it, make some money. <laughs> Just sell it so I can go to CatCon. Oh, boy. That way I have to split a room with Haz and Brian B. Yes, even better. <laughs> even better. Woo. What do y'all think? Would you think that would have a 9.9 9, a 9 .9? or probably not? No, I don't think so either. It's got the, the paddles. I don't see evidence of screw downs. Just looked it up, 700 to thousand dollars brand new. Well, now that it's got chunky, Chunky's hands on there, 1500, bam. Let me fish on it just for, <laughs> let me just sit on it from the bank and just sit on <laughs> Chunky's ex boat. <sighs> Looking for mountain brackets, scratches. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that. I don't see any any evidence of a well of, you know what I do see evidence of um electric power electric motor very little I mean just about nothing all right guys we're gonna have to inspect it because can you imagine if I carry this thing out it has a big old hole in the bottom or something it's not light it has air has air. This thing, this thing will wash up. It looks good now. A little bit of bleach. What else are we gonna find? <laughs> what else are we gonna find? All right, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but fishing trip is over. <laughs> fishing trip is over. <sighs> find a fish, forget the fish, forget the fish. Yeah, yeah. 
Now I have two hours to start getting it over there. It's uh, uh you can patch it, but you can get it. No, it, it it it's got air. It has no holes. No hole well, it has air. And the only reason it has a little bit of air, because of the cold, the winter time. This thing is perfect. Won't hold chunky up, but we're taking it. We're taking the bench. Trying to find what is the the best route, the best route for me to take. Let it wait. Let out the air. Put it in your wagon. Let out the air and put it in your wagon. That's uh that's pretty pretty smart. Need help? Fishing in gold, uh someone's I mean I don't know the first thing about these things. I gotta keep this knife away from it because this <laughs> someone said let let out the air. And it has two chambers, if that's what you call it, one right there and one right here. And that would probably make it fit in my truck even better. Right now, fishing and gold. I appreciate it, but let, let's <laughs> let's keep the camera going. If you want to come here, it's up to you. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! Keep this knife away. Chambers everywhere. It has a it says it holds four people nine hundred and and thirty-seven pounds. Okay, so this size has Anyone who's just coming in, we just pulled this out, out of the debris, I'm taking it.
Whew. Let me see. I feel like someone was coming back. No, no, that thing was buried. It was buried. I go back and watch. Ain't no one back for this. No, 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 no. If it if it was to the side and not buried, I would agree. Nope. Don't try to make me leave it here. You're going to come and get it for me. All right, let's go see the rod, see if we have a fish. If not. The rods have not moved an inch. Nothing. The knife, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if fishing go if, if if you're handy if you I mean if you're if you're around oh smack look who's coming security look 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 I just waved at him I'm gonna he waved back hey can I put this on top of your car <laughs> Can I put it on top of your car? Whew. That is so sweet. If I can get it, get it out. If I can get it out. Oh, let me see. What do we got here? Yeah, I think I need to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna concentrate on this, so we're not gonna catch one fish. It just became a... Chucky found a boat. Chucky found a boat! Buy him! Cook his new boat. <laughs> Raise in the house, Deadpool! Sorry, guys, I'm not going through comments. I just got excited. This thing is in almost in pristine condition. It has everything. Paddles, ropes, tie down. Look at that rope in front right there. That has that whatever special knot that I don't even know how to tie. Uh, let me see here. I can be there in in two in twenty. Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here. I mean, only only if, if you have time, but I don't want to inconvenience you. Wow, that's a mega boom, boom, boom right there. The USS. <laughs> oh, man, the minnow. That's awesome. Wow. All right, let me see if I can try to make a video out of this. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm here fishing here. Set up, been live, I don't know, about 30 minutes. Someone said, look for arrowheads where there's an erosion right here. And instead of looking for arrowheads, we, rock, we walked around the bin that way. And let me show you what I just pulled out. It was buried. It was buried all the way in. I just released the air. This is what we got right here. You see it flat, but it was not like that. I disinflated it. It has the paddles. It had the paddles on the side and a snow shovel. Bam. Check it out. Chunky's new boat. Chunky's new boat. That is sweet. 
That is so sweet. I'm happy. I'm happy. Out of breath, but happy. <laughs> Out of breath, but happy. Whoa. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> I thought there was another one just for a second. Can you see this this oval? And I said no, that can't be another one over there. It's not. <laughs> it's a it's a round round log or something. <sighs> Why leave it there? It it was it, it washed up there. I'm gonna someone's gonna come fishing and goats and come and help me get it out. It's a little heavy. Uh, keep walking on. That's right, that's right, but I'm a little out of breath. I wanna keep eyes on my stuff here. Wow, we just found a boat. <laughs> we just found a boat. All right, guys, let me uh, put my down. Give me a second, I know it looks weird. Yeah, I got my knife, appreciate that. Thank you. What do you think, should we go look for more treasures? <laughs> No, no, it's just right down the walking trail. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not gonna bring it down here. There's no, I'm just, I'm not leaving it there. It's just right there on the, on the trail. It's mine, you know, <laughs> it's mine. Wow. No, okay. Thank you, I never get it. He's scared. <laughs> wow. I think this will be a little sweet boat to go to, to Burke Lake. Whatever, it's mine. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it. Make some money. What's the name going to be, Chunky? <laughs> I don't know. Y'all can <laughs> start throwing some names. I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna read very much. I'm just exhausted from pulling that thing around. But we gotta walk the bank some more. Chunky. Fishing and goals gonna help me load it up, and he's like, oh, Chunky, I, I got you, buddy. I'll, <laughs> I'll check the bank for you." Wow, go back, guys. It's in pristine condition. I'm talking about, man, it is sweet. Too far, I'll buy it. It's a sweet little thing, man. It is sweet. I'm going to have to buy a, a special pump. U S S Chunk Skunky. <laughs> skunky Chunky. Woo, man. Name is S S Chunky. It's worth a lot. Yeah, someone said, what did they say? Between eight to a thousand dollars, something like that, new? That thing is in perfect condition. It's got the paddles and everything. I'm about to get a pump, since I let the air out. Guys, please pick up. Stay over front. Yeah, Ray, it's a, uh, YouTube is weird. I go up and I go down. It's just part of it. Just part of it. I seen 3,995. Really? For that one? I'm going to look it up well. I'm going to look. That's some super money. That's a good find. Wow. That's my gold treasure I found. That is sweet. SS Minnow. Eh. Just call it the Chunky Cat. <laughs> the Chunky Cat. Someone else said they seen one. Um, listed. Look at that. Look, Uncle Lou, that's the second person I see it. Wow. Wow. Driving and listening. Hooks, have you just, I'm not sure how long you've been here, but we just found a nice little, what do you call it, a little skiff? Boat? Inflatable boat? That thing can hold more weight than my boat because of the air tubes. Four people, 900 and something pounds. I don't think my boat holds that much. It, bar it barely holds me. S S E O. Ooh. What does S S stand for? I'm just. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Ah, a dinghy. Ah, it's a dinghy. <laughs> Woo, Chunky's dinghy. <laughs> Woo, I like that one. Oh, man. 
super sloppy. <laughs> oh. Beach. <laughs> uh, the brand, wait, the brand was Marine City, Marine something, Marina, West Marine, West Marina. West Marina is the store. There's several stores around here. That's all they sell is high dollar, high dollar stuff. <sighs> the thing about that, it's not like uh, it's not a registered. It's, it's nothing like that. It has no 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 numbers on there. It's just a it's a little thing to get you from here to there. Electric power, bam. Uh, where did you dump? Wait, into the Potomac. Uh, I'll be back. I'll let you know later after I scout it out completely. I'm going to have like four or five people over here <laughs> looking for stuff. Ooh, might. Watch. Watch your ankles. Yes, yes. Watch your ankles on the rocks. Yeah, the water's coming up already. Yep, very, very slippery. Thank you. Ice. <laughs> it has ice. Thanks, Bobcat. Run to the casino. L yes, run to the ca casino. Where are we? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. SS lost and found. SS <laughs> lost and found. Wow. Woo! Hands, you're the best. You're the best. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Ooh. Name it the the drift drifter drifter. Ooh. Yeah, it is the drifter. That's exactly what it is. Boom, boom, boom. I just completely forgot about the fishing. <laughs> I forgot about the fishing. Yeah, but how? What? What a uh, horsepower can you put on that thing? Is it pr just electric only, or could you put like a little gas engine on there? Well, you got to remember that thing is made to go ahead and like load up and load back down on some kind of trailer. So, probably electric. Electric. Nine nine. Ooh, ooh. Uncle Lou, buy the. All right, Uncle Lou, boom, 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 for fishing and gold, <laughs> yes! We're raising money for fishing and gold. Woo, appreciate you, Uncle Lou. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're buying some glizzies. <laughs> We're gonna, you know what, I'm gonna save that money, check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna save that money, check it out. <clears throat> we have my eel, and I brought a glizzy. <laughs> it, it, it has a little bit of eel blood on there. Woo! <laughs> we got your glizzies. Eel, fresh eel. Look, 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 look. It's moving, it's moving. This thing has no head and it still throbs, throbs, throbs. Here's the eel head. We'll still move around. <sighs> yeah, I just saved 20 bucks. <laughs> Forget fishing in gold. Woo! Oh, there's here. Let's go, Uncle Lou. Yeah, appreciate that, Uncle Lou. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> Man, losing my throat just from excitement. <sighs> that is sweet. Uh, bite it, I dare you. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need my energies to load this thing up. Fishing and gold, if you have your if if you have your wagon if you don't we'll uh we'll leave my stuff here and i'll take off that board by and we'll just we can between me and you we can balance it on the wagon but he did mention he had an extra long wagon i remember he did mention that but if not we'll figure it out we'll figure it out anyone who's just coming in anyone who's just coming in, i understand what what had just happened i pulled out that that dinghy it's a perfect, perfect. You see, it's somewhat flat. We took the air out. We took the air out. And uh, we were fishing right here. And um, someone was asking where, you know, I, I was talking about where I was fishing yesterday. We were walking around the bend. And then someone said, you see all this erosion right here? 
they were saying look for arrowheads, which is absolutely fantastic idea. And that dinghy was in complete perfect shape, but it was buried. I had to pull it out. Pull it out. What else we got? What else we got? Man, look, look how deep it goes in there. Oh, Y'all can't see it on the camera, but it's way, way in there. We looking, we looking, <laughs> we looking. It was, it was buried way, way in there, all the way in there. All the ropes, everything was down there. Look at all these locks here. I don't want to twist an anchor because if I get a broken ankle, then <laughs> that's good staying here. It was buried right in there. Lucky Chunky. The rope, everything is, it, it's, it, it's there. Oh, but it was all the way in there. All the way in that, in here. There's more rope here. Oh no, I thought there was rope. It's not. I was, I, I was wondering if that little 9.9 .9 was in here. There's still a lot of stuff here, but nah, I don't feel like digging. Ugh. It was on the other side of that, that log, way, way over there. Let's see what else we find. I kind of stopped looking as soon as I found that little ball. I was like, yes, jackpot. <sighs> Potomac River Monsters, how y'all doing out there? Are y'all both fishing out there together or is it just Ernie out there? So I pulled it up, I dragged it, I took the air out. Someone said it's easier if you take the air out, which I have no idea how these things work. If y'all see a flat right now, it wasn't like that. We took the air out. Big Mike! Look what I just pulled out, Big Mike. Look at this. Look, 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 look how new these ropes are. You can't tell me this skiff is that old. Look how white that rope is. Brand new, brand new. The paddles were on the side. I took the paddles off right here. It has, it has uh, two paddles, they're right there. Paddle. The board's gonna try to hold up chunky and it goes across. Another paddle and then the rope. Look at this. Not even my boat has this high quality rope. Look at look at the rope that's in front. I know that this boat was purchased probably this in the last several months. Look at this. It has no scratches until what chunky put in it, dragging it. Bam, that's Chunky's boat. Nice little skiff. They were asking about the, the brand. West Marina is a, it's a store that sells them. They sell, they sell exclusive stuff. Uh, someone said, once I got to repeat myself, let, release the air. It has an air chamber there. I, I mean, I'm sure we can, we can dislocate it even more, but I was by myself. There's one there. And then it has two air chambers on this side, I think, or maybe it has more. One up there and one there. I uh, I released the, the cap and you can see how the cap hanging there. I was looking if it's had a, either 9.9 .9 or electric um, motor mounted. There's nothing. 
it looks like maybe maybe something just like I don't think it's ever had anything mounted on it. I don't know how the plug works. And there's ice. There's ice inside. Okay, it's got the plug here. We set. Chunky is set. Thanks again, Uncle Lou. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Ooh, nice little thing, man. Wow. Fishing in gold is coming, coming this way. If you don't know who Fishing in Gold is, he's a new YouTuber. Ugh. All right. Chunky out of breath again. <laughs> Chunky out of breath again. Christy Brown, thanks for coming in. I uh I go into your streams every now and then when uh, Ernie Brown's in uh, in his blind his hunting hunting. Oh. Congrats on my new boat! Yes, yes, I will take it. All we need is an arrowhead to take to Mason, and wow, he'll be blown away. Absolutely. Fishing a chick, that's exactly what it was. It was tethered to someone's yacht, high dollar yacht, and they would probably take it to go across to their buddy, other yacht, and <laughs> come back. I don't have a yacht, but <laughs> it's my baby yacht. That's what it's gonna be called, Chunky's baby yacht. Woo, <laughs> my baby yacht. Oh man, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm glad that my first spot didn't work out. I'm glad we scouted this area. I'm glad some of y'all said, go there, go shallow. Well, we have these rods haven't moved an inch. We out. <sighs> Admiral Chunky? Is that what you're saying? Admiral Chunky? Oh, God, bro. I had to register mine, so be careful. I'll register it. <laughs> I have no problem. <clears throat> it's got no numbers on there. I don't think you have to, but I'll look into it. I will look into it, and um, if I need to do the right thing, if there's something I need that has to be done, I will. But more than likely, I don't have to. So it's mine. <laughs> to the yacht. Ah, uh, you should go because it is. That can be taken. Yeah, Larry. You know, if it gets to that point, if if it's someone and they come it's 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 theirs you know and if they want to give me a reward <laughs> woo, I'm down I'm down whatever whatever I found it and I'm trying to keep it and if I can legally and if I can't so what it was uh, it was a good live stream <laughs> we had a lot of people watching me dig it out Jesse's back in the house I'm sure you've been here the whole time I mean, I can't, I mean, as soon as uh, Fishing and Gold gets here, yes, we're leaving, but it's, it's too much work for me to do it by myself. Not that it can't be done. I just have to disassemble some things here. We'll get it. We'll get it. Uh, it is all on the application number. On the transom. I'll, I'll check it out later. I will. theirs yeah we'll see what happens chunky cat send me your address Ooh, ooh, jesse jesse you have my um you have my text phone number if it's still the same i have to look it up or just send me a simple text i'm not sure if i've sent you some stickers like i said i don't keep track of no one's information but that would be sweet mason mason would love an arrowhead <clears throat> I was surprised. We were talking about arrowheads just last week. And and um, to my knowledge, I always thought, I always thought that arrowheads were made out of flint. And I'm sure they are. 
but my wife said a different name. I'm sure y'all know what it is, but Chunky doesn't remember anything. And I'm like, no, they're made of flint. She's like, no, most of them are made from, she said the rock. And sure enough, I Googled what are arrowheads made from? And she was right. I was like, oh, oh. That's a lie, he said. He's the Michael Murillo, I have to go through my text messages, go to photos, and scroll, and scroll. And then you send me a picture of your envelope. If your envelope, <laughs> if your envelope, you might be the only one that I can find. You're one of the, the few I can find. Yeah, you're right about that. I didn't I just brought leftover waters. I had leftover sodas. I'm out. I'm done. I have nothing else to drink. <laughs> yeah, I have the picture of the envelope. I do. <sighs> Steve said hello. Catfishing Poppy. What's going on, Catfishing Poppy? We would have been here this whole time and these rods not do anything. Popping my neck from the excitement. Ah, that hurt. Settle down, Chunky. Uh, you're the best. It's a boat. <laughs> Who finds a boat? Woo! I got so excited when I saw it. It's like, it cannot be. And I was like, and I said, when I saw it, I was like, it's a boat. I was like, it can't, it, it's going to be torn up. It's not. It's not. What's the bait? Fresh cut eel fresh eel um those that follow me to the end yet yeah, the well i get a lot of boom boom booms and a lot of um super chats and a lot of them say bait bait i, I but yesterday the one that i remember and i you know I, I feel bad that i can't remember the other one fracture fix threw me 50 dollars. he's like go buy yourself two two eel um the problem with two eel that's that's only like one pound and he sent me more to buy enough so i think i bought two pounds and i think it's either five or six eels because they're small right now so we're, we're good we're solid rob fox it would be flat yeah it's it's fresh but it was in there i mean we, we've had you know the, the the river moves the ice moves stuff around it wasn't tied down properly they lost it they would never find it they would have never found it <clears throat> uh they miss here Shirt, shirt. I think that's what my wife said. Yeah, you're right. It and Flint are basically the same. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you all this. I am working. Who remembers? Well, I didn't use it very many times. But those who are strong, um, I've done all kinds of crazy stuff with my rods. When I started to wrap them, uh, I. One of my first things, and I, I bought um, rim, mo mo motorcycle rim, high reflective tape. I have a rod that's it's a Cast King catfish rod. It's called a, a Cat Tech. It's a very fun rod, and I I, I had a little little hole punch hole puncher high reflective tape. I tried all different stuff. It had a high reflective tape wrapped around the different colors. Who remembers this? I had green monofilament wrapped all the way down oh my i had to put a, a drill to the bottom and i spinned it i spin 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 and, and cookie was helping me go with the monofilament all the way down it didn't do very much i had put green high vis monofilament over a black rod it did not work it should have been over a white rod that would have been super cool so anyways long story short i took everything off yesterday it had it had monofilament wrap it had, had high reflective oh look at this they're coming for me. That's four. That's four. Yeah. Oh, they're hidden. Where are they? Oh, they're back over there. Four choppers. I don't know, guys. Secret Service in the past two days, at least that I've been here, they are acting berserky. Berserky. Just, just kind of putting that out there. Just <laughs> don't say Chunky didn't warn you. They are acting super super weird they are really doing all kinds of uh movements run run <laughs> run run 
Ah, Chucky, go down. Yeah, this this is not normal. I can just tell you that. Yesterday we had that the uh, two of the double blade chopper going back and forth doubles, and then Secret Service flying around. It's uh, a lot of movement going around DC. They're like, <clears throat> they are looking for the lost dinghy. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> oh man, never. Uh, you're in danger zone, Chunky. That's right. That's right. We're in danger zone, Chunky. That's right. You get you get very, very close to DC, and that's what it's about. Uh, let me see here. Gotta love the USA. That's right. Um, uh, Jesse, we're, uh, we're very, very blessed for where we're at. I can just say that. Very, very blessed. We are. We are. Well said. Uh, Get to the chopper! <laughs> Get to the chopper! Chopper, 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 chopper. I don't know how Arnold Arnold says it. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. One time, Michael Marillas put that a long time ago, and I I didn't catch it until like a month later. Ooh, Chunk is too slow. Green Will. Uh, did you ever get Amy my emails? John Marillo. Scott, wait. I Wait, some arrowheads. Wow, nice, Scott. That is super, 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 super. That is super awesome. Yeah, I think that's kind of what they're learning right now I, at school. You know, they go through like different segments, and I think that came up. And it just, you know, when when you're when you have your your son or your, your child be like excited over something, it, it just excites me too. So that is cool. Pull up. Pull up in a minute. All right, take your time, fishing the gold. Whatever you think is is closer, I think it's better to cut whatever you think. I actually came through the basketball courts, which seemed kind of far to me. I think it's. I'll leave it up to you. We'll get there eventually. Guys, please, someone look up fishing in gold. He's coming over. He's a new YouTuber. He's a cool guy. He's a cool dude. <laughs> call the cops when i get home and say look this is what i pulled out this is what i found you know what i found run a serial number this report it whatever what you do you think a millionaire yacht owner lost his dinghy feels like a fool for not tying it properly he's going to call the cops and report it i highly doubt it he already has a new one he already has a new one but if you want me to do that i will <laughs> I will wink. Big tick that would take. <laughs> would top it up. That's right. You're right. We, that's what we're here. We're here for take them. We forgot about the rods. I was gonna move them around, but fishing and gold is coming, and we're gonna figure out how to how to do things. Uh, let me see. Wait. How's the fishing? Um, the fishing is terrible, but we we found the boat. <laughs> We found a boat. Let me show you. Bam. See that right there? I pulled it out. And it wasn't like that. It was not flat. It was it was low. Oh, I just have to joke. <laughs> you know me. I know, Jazzy. Woo! Please put a Uncle Lou's Facebook page. Please put uh, Jazzy Hazzy YouTube. Fat boy Eric, S S Arrowhead. Ooh, ooh. Since we're here, let's just give it one second, and we can look for an Arrowhead. We might get lucky. Someone said, "Look right there, erosion, erosion." I mean, I'm not gonna erode it more. They said, "Look down here." <laughs> All we need is a. Is a snake to bite me? I don't want no snake to bite me.
No arrowhead. No arrowhead took you a bit of trolling buddy on there. I have a trolley motor. I have a trolley motor. And it's quite to match it. Woo! We're headed to Burke Lake. <laughs> we're going to Burke Lake. I I had a trolley. I had a trolley motor. I had it rigged up with a a, a simple fish finder. But I stepped on it. They got in my way. Time to pull out a JB Weld. <laughs> JB Weld, baby. Oh, SS. SS Ding a Ling. <laughs> yes. Ooh. SS Mason. Shark Tooth. Ooh. You think Shark Tooth would be all the way over here? Megalodon roamed the Potomac. Three million, 300 million years ago. Ooh, Megalodon tooth. You'll never believe this. You will not believe this. I went into a house to give a proposal and he had Megalodon, Megalodon, Megalodon teeth, shark teeth. I'm talking about, oh man, I, I'm gonna pull up the pictures so y'all can believe me. When I say he had a collection he had a collection and you won't believe it i mean he had it's been a long time 100 200 teeth this big 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 teeth and he said they were they were megalodon they look real they look real and the man had money but he had hundreds seemed to be hundreds i gotta pull up the pictures <laughs> you can find it along the river of san antonio Woo! They clean that river out usually like is it yearly or bi yearly? They they clean they 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 empty that thing out. I think you should do the check it out. Funky charters. <clears throat> you think I should do what? Funky fishing charters. Uh how's it going, chunky buddy? Kane, we're we're having a a great day. Terrible fishing? Terrible fishing. I'm glad the ice took us out again and we moved here. I'm glad that we scouted this out and some of y'all said, fish this area. It's shallow and just what, what do you have to lose? Yes, sir, we're fishing right around right around this little bend right there. You go around 100 yards, 200 yards that way. And I was walking that way to show you where I was at yesterday. And I found I found a boat. I found a very, very nice, very newish skiff. And you're about to see us haul it away somehow. Chunky, go to Cliff Bounty Beach and just to find fossil shark. Ooh. Meg really? Really? Well, I mean, if the Megalodon, Megalodon tooth is like, if it could still be found, like I said, it's hard to believe. It seemed like he had hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. I wonder what what is one beautiful, pristine Megalodon, Megalodon tooth worth? What is it worth? Anyone know? San Antonio is beautiful. Uh, I mean, I have all my family. Told me, familia, vive in San Antonio. Woo! It's uh, it's beautiful and hot. Hey, <laughs> it's hot. Got you. No problem. No problem. I, 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 I believe it or not, watching No Real Loss yesterday, I was here the whole time from the beginning. I was just rapping. I'm doing a new rap. I don't even know if I got to it. I was. I'm rapping my my casking cat tech rod with silver high reflected tape and if you hear me repeat it over and over the silver has the highest reflection that thing is gonna look like like it has an led just bam booming on it it's the only problem with the, that casking catic is very thin it's and i'm having a hard time cross wrapping and have that diamond line it's not gonna have a perfect diamond wrap but it's gonna be wrapped i'm trying to practice on that diamond wrap uh i i, I have better luck wrapping rods when they're thicker like the whisker seeker chunky chunky the rapper <laughs> let's go Woo, mate i wish i could back up my truck up here oh i should ask that security agent can i back up my truck here i left my dinghy here and i gotta take it home we had security pass by in a vehicle in a vehicle they're pr they're priceless that's what I thought. That's what I thought. They're priceless. I don't know how this man has so, so many. 
I, I got I to gotta look at my pictures and see how many he had. He had tons of them. And all beautiful shelves with, with glass shelves, beautiful lighting. He didn't each one, each one. Uh, I don't care. You carry it away. Yeah, that's a hook set. The fish. Fishing the gold, the gold dude. Yes, yeah. I don't. Has anyone put the link? My moderators are about to get fired. Fishing in gold. They're like, I already did, Chunky. Relax. Fishing in gold. Oh, you think School Rush? I mean, I, they're beautiful teeth. Beautiful color to them. Thank you. Thank you, George Ray. All they're from the UK. Working from the UK. There we <laughs> Everyone was like, I don't want to get fired. I don't want to get fired. We're going to have everyone shoot them. <laughs> Please, guys, give him a hook set. He, he, came, he came from, I don't know from where, to help out Chunky take his gift to the truck. And and Uncle Lou said to give him a glizzy. <laughs> He's going to get a glizzy, all right. Woo, man. We have a glizzy. Look, has he? <laughs> Here's my eel. And I put a glizzy right next to it. I think he meant buy him lunch, but nah, he said glizzy. He specifically said glizzy. Here you go. Woo! <laughs> look, 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 look who's come to save the day. Bam! Oh, What's up, man. buddy? What's How up, you man? doing? Huh? We need to help. Yeah, I think that. We need, uh, I bought some rope. Okay. And then with the rope that's already in there, we can just strap it to the car and just one person holds on the back. Yeah, yeah, kind of balance it out. it out. Yep. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. Look at that. Fishing right, and gold. How big was that nugget you showed me? That one was about almost two to three ounces. In size. Yeah. It's like like, like that rock. Did you see that rock? No, yeah. he's going he's gonna to show this guy. He, do you still do it or you don't do it? Yeah, I still do it. You still do it. So be careful with the branch. Yeah. Um, he's, he fishes and he gold. What do you call gold mining? Or gold prospecting. Go, yeah. go whatever. He's looking for gold. The Upper Potomac? Yeah, Upper Potomac. Upper so Potomac. Kind Potomac. of like um, up near, like uh, off of 193. Okay, don't say too much because we got to go get some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check this out, guys. That bottom piece right there is a dime. That's a dime to give you reference on the size of that nugget. And you said you sold this one? Yeah, we sold that one. I mean, so if you look... Uh, is that I the mean, one that you told me you want to say the price? You don't want to say how much Yeah. Sold. So, you, I mean, I sold, uh, sold that one. Uh, we had another one that went for... The highest one that we had was like around seventeen to 19000 Look at that, guys. A so, gold nugget in the Potomac that almost sold for $20,000. <laughs> for almost for $20,000. I mean, they have bigger <laughs> ones. I'm pretty sure there's bigger ones than that out there. But, um, yeah, I mean, like the last one we found wasn't even – I mean, they're, it's common. I mean, you find one all the time. I mean, if you go out every trip, you could find one. Show but, me those those uh, frosted flakes, the ones that – Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but here's like, so to give you an example, here's what most of the gold looks like. Um, like here, so you see it's just like little flakes all yeah. throughout. Yeah, this is what he's saying. Most of them are little little flakes, but you, you, you've you been lucky a couple oh, yeah, of times yeah, yeah, yeah. and get those really nice ones. So, yeah, I have a metal detector, so that's how I find it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it, metal detector. Yeah, we first started out with, first when I found out about it, you know, started out with uh, gold panning, you know, moved my way up, got a sluice. Then I, they have a thing called a high banker, so, you know, you have an electric pump that pumps out water into a, you know, a sluice okay. so you can shovel into yeah, 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 yeah. it. Then I uh, did uh, dredging, and then I started making really good money, so then I bought my first detector was a mine lab. Uh, they're around, like, basically six thousand dollars Ooh, wow I mean, it got paid yeah. off but <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing he, he's offered to take me and one of my boys or both of the boys that they want to go and and just kind of give us a rundown how to how to find gold how yeah to find and gold. arrowheads i mean uh further down i mean you could probably find them up here too i know they have shark's teeth out here too that's what someone we we're just talking about yeah, shark teeth you can go further down on the potomac okay uh, we used to go as a kid you could find hundreds of shark's teeth all over the beaches really yeah huge ones too it's like harder to find the bigger <laughs> ones now okay but they even have uh megalodon teeth on uh it's more on the um on the other side which is it's not the potomac anymore you're now you're on uh what calvert cliffs so uh, no real that. loss just at a beach at the beach i have to go yeah. back i i sometimes go back let me make sure so we're gonna leave this stuff here yeah i mean well i mean if you want i think that i could once we get it set up you'll be able to carry your stuff and i can do that no, I, no, no, no. I don't think, I think we could both, get, I mean, because you don't want to leave your stuff here, trust me. Really? <laughs> Remember I told you somebody tried to steal my stuff when I was right here over here. 
<laughs> it was here. Yeah, it was, all, it was on the dock, but I mean, I wouldn't he, leave my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling me, and they told me yesterday, Chunky, don't leave your yeah, stuff like that. don't leave your stuff. Like, <laughs> you steal my camera right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You told me the guy was yeah. creeping up behind your camera. So, he kept on going back. Yeah, my camera was in the back, and then he took a picture like this, but he had his, his back like this so that he could grab my camera and then run. But he was taking a picture like this, and then when my dad showed up, he saw us, and he stopped. I was like, he was trying to steal my stuff. I was like, I, I saw you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let, let's go see if we can load this thing up. Man, the thing with me, it's like I'm too trustworthy, you know. If, if someone asks me, hey, Chunky, what's your PIN number? <laughs> I'm so dumb. To, I'll probably let you know what my PIN number is. Look at this wagon. I want to show you this. I, I had not seen. This is a super long wagon. Mason can go to sleep right there. <laughs> a kid can fit in there easy. In, yeah, we can, we can who's just coming in. That's what I pulled out. Pulled out right there. That's Chunky. All right, we're gonna try to. Yeah, it does have some weight to it. It's solid. Yeah, it, it's got a strong bottom. So, uh, can we move this that way? Um, yeah, so we could uh, maybe, probably, yeah, because it could be harder to get out here, so probably put it like this. I would say have the back here. Okay. The front face that way, and then we'll use that rope and then that little string. Okay. And we'll tie Which it. Which side around. do you want? Do you want to get the back or do you want to get the I can get the back. Yeah, that's what's working. Right, come back. Oh my goodness. Already, and that's without the rope. <laughs> I told you, once we tie the rope, you'll be able to get yourself and I get this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, I'm packing my stuff up. We're going to head out. We're heading out, but I'll, uh, I'll let you. What do you want to see? Him? Tied up or me reel them in? All right. Time to load it Yeah, we're good to go. That's just, it doesn't need that much.
I'm already out of breath just doing <laughs> oh, Hold on, guys. Hold on. Feel, feel, feel. I'm gonna, I want you to hold this. Hold on. Oh, you got the two battery packs on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Hold it like this. And when you see me walking around, I'm like this. And after I mean, like a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Especially if you have your me, arm yeah. up. Yeah, if you got your arm up. <laughs> I mean, that has some weight to it. All right. And then you've already been carrying your gear all the way down here, too. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to. I got all my stuff. <laughs> I got all my stuff. Got what, which way? Yeah, I put it over here. I put it in the bucket. It's, it's in there. Yeah, see, look, I, thought I knew this thing would work. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at that. Perfect balance. I don't want my wagon to flip over. A big shout out, a big thank you to the fishing and gold right here, guys. Helping Chucky. Anything else on the bank? <laughs> Anything else? I know we have people. Are you going to come back later to check this out? I wonder why someone stacked these logs like this. I saw these yesterday. Oh, my arm already gets tired. Oh. Yeah, I can move the truck. This is what we cut, guys. Check it out. That's what that's what I the catch of the day. Bam! Bam! Sorry guys, if y'all hear me huffing and puffing, but. Yeah, it's not moving very much. Oh no, yesterday was brutal. At least towards the last hour I was out here. Yeah, it's not. And that's crazy because we have snow coming in a few hours. Here's security coming again. This is where I was at yesterday, guys, right here. Oh, man. This, uh, oh, my camera weighs a ton. Yeah, it's a lot easier here. Oh, 
my arms, I can't tell. <laughs> All right, I need a break. <laughs> Man, my arm is about to fall off with this camera. Wow. I need to find a way how, how to mount this thing. How to mount that? Yeah. Just like when sometimes people want to see me move around from one spot to the next. Oh. What you could do is, I mean, I see you got these mounted on here. I mean, yeah. the carts are made out of metal. You could get somebody to weld, like maybe like a holder for uh, get something to take off the legs and have one that holds this bar only. Yeah. And then if you had like you go through and it's metal, right? You have to put a lug nut to screw it down tight. Yeah. Something like that may work. Where are you? Where are you part? Where are we going? Uh, I'm right here, but we can, I can go straight here, Because I know you're. Yeah, but I, I think it's easier for me just to go and get the truck. It's up to you. Yeah. You want to just pull everything over here and then yeah. pull the truck in? Yeah. I, mean, that's about I appreciate that. Peg legs, peg legs. Huh? All right, that's what I'm saying. This thing is not old at all. I didn't want to leave it back there. I don't trust me. I'll leave chat if you want to. Okay. It's up to you if you want to entertain <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to really quick get it on side. That way we can lift it up. Is it you here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky's uh, catfishing and felonies. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done. He's pulling the truck up now, so he's not too far. So it should be pretty quick. Probably get more air out.
Are you letting more air out? Yeah, that way we can put it in easier. Because otherwise, with the rest of your gear, it might uh, might take up a lot of space. I can put my gear inside the truck. Oh, uh, okay, that's good. But yeah, we'll be able to get this thing in there. Um, Should we just do it at an angle or lay it here flat? Um, I was thinking about upside down and just close the tailgate and just have it stick up. You want it upside down? The only thing is, get the, uh, are you, I want to see if you can close it because if you can't close it, if you put it upside down and any air. Well, this if we have to see if we can close this because if any air lifts underneath it, you don't want it to try to lift it up. Yeah, you're right. I could flip one down. So we'll have to see that because okay. I mean, if it's upside, at least if it's this way, no air pockets can kind of keep underneath there. Because it won't it won't fit just like this. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying hi to people. <laughs> How are you? Thanks for loaning your house in the yeah, 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 That's yeah. awesome. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need some wine though for that. <laughs> hey, yeah. Wine? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I don't be drinking the cheap shit too. <laughs> you got it. All right. <laughs> so what do you what do you think? Let's see how it fits real quick. Um, let's just put it up here. You want to put it like right through here? I don't know. Yeah, let's just try it out. But I definitely don't think, it, if it was to see, we could put it upside down if it could fit with that top closed because you don't want the air lifting this thing up while you're on the highway. But the good thing is this is, I inflate a lot more so you can get it in there a lot easier. And this kind of bends back, because so that's fine. It, will, uh, it would have, yeah, okay. Well, how do you want to do, you tell me what you want to do. Um, here, I'll get the back. I think that's probably the heaviest portion. Ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, that robe I wouldn't trust. I mean, it's fine. I actually have. Uh, Try to use that too. Well, then this this is already this is already attached. here attached. Yeah. Wow, we can. Uh, All right, guys, we're tying it down now. <laughs> we're trying to tie it down.
Luckily, this is long enough that we can wrap it through here okay. and then uh, come back. Over That's the top. sweet. I appreciate that, man. You want to do it? Do you want me to keep loading my stuff up? Yeah, you keep up. I got you. I'm pretty sure this thing's not gonna move. We just have to, the only other thing we're gonna have to worry about is the back portion just lifting up. Don't worry about that in a minute. Did you like her? Did she leave her? Oh yeah, she was just stopping by. I told her I was gonna be on oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I told her I was like, hey, I'm gonna be working. Cause she's, uh, she's out getting lunch. I was like, I'm gonna be near you. So. Oh, that's gonna work perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. That way the air won't catch that much air, if anything. Look, so I first did it around these handles right okay. here through here, yeah. and then I went through this to keep it that way so yeah. it doesn't slide back. It ain't going nowhere. So now let's lock it up.
Alright, well the boat's not going anywhere. The only thing we have to worry about is maybe some of this right here. And I think we probably want to put this inside. We're throwing it for the back. Yeah, for the back. I'll put it inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. Chris asked me, have you used it? I'm like, you think it's too awesome to use it. <laughs> but the boat's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I can't even pull it out. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, man. Here. Here's a gift. Oh, no, it's fine. No. It's fine. No. <laughs> look, guys, look, look. Tell, no, tell, no. tell him to take it. No, I don't want anybody to He gets, he gets a board <laughs> that I haven't used, that I advertise, but I haven't used. Here, how about this? Bucks. I'll your take wife. the board, no money. No, your wife said, no. No, no, no listen to this. I don't know if y'all heard his wife. <laughs> she said that they drink good wine. And she said, she said this, quote, not the cheap. <laughs> You can finish it off. <laughs> Don't worry about the no, wine. I'll buy her wait. some wine. No, I'll no, buy her some wine. This is for you. I'll take this. And this is for wine. I'll I don't buy wine, so I don't know. No, it's fine. It's fine, man. It's fine. It's Come fine. Come on, buddy. It's fine. I was down the road. It wasn't a big deal. Let me tell you, I, I charge half, so. <laughs> Here. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, come on, It's man. okay. I promise. It's cool, man. It's cool. No, I, mean, I, I appreciate that. No, too, it's buddy. fine. It's fine. I was okay. down the road. I, look, look. If there's, I help, there's forty dollars. He won't take it. His wife wants good wine. If <laughs> I needed help, I would want I, somebody yeah, to come help. Y'all are like that. Doesn't even buy good wine, <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I need help, I'd want somebody to help me. So it's fine. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I hope this doesn't like, end up costing me more money because I want to. I want to possibly talk to the police and make sure it's not. No, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Look. Guys, please. Look, look. We got money. We got money coming in. Five dollars. Come on. It's fine. It's Uncle fine. Uncle Lou. Uncle I Lou. Promise. But listen. I promise. Listen. Just listen to me. Uncle Lou said $20 for glizzies for fishing and gold. Okay? We had five dollars. Okay? Wait. We had five dollars. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> there. There. All right? Twenty-five dollars. Cool. There's cool. There's 15 more if you want it. No, that's no, fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Read it, Chunky, read it. All right, Kane. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I lost my thing on the <laughs> You found my boat. Thank you so much. <laughs> look, someone changed their thing. Read it, come here, come here. What is that? Look, look, he changes. That's his, his name now. Lost my ding on the baton. <laughs> Change his name. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred dollars! Five hundred dollars! You want it back? Five hundred dollars! I mean, here's the thing. So you got a boat, right? It's, there's no registration. Anybody could have like that's the most. That's a really popular boat. It so is. even if I was like, oh, here, here's a picture of me and my boat. It's missing. How do you know? Like they might sell the boat at their house. How do you know it's really theirs? It does have a five person and blah blah blah. How much? But that's all it, of them. I want. I wonder if it has some kind of serial number on there or something. Maybe. Maybe. So there's a serial number in there. <laughs> if have it is, it's scratched out now. <laughs> I'm gonna get my wife, my knife and go ooh to the serial number. <laughs> I mean, if they have one of those little printed, uh, cause you know how they have the MD or, or VA or whatever on the side, if they had yeah. that on the side, then okay. Exactly. You if can they track had that, that's right. But it you can't track that. Yeah, you can't somewhere. You... That's exactly. right. It has no boat tags on there. <laughs> and we know for a fact it probably came from Wade, either way upriver, probably most likely downriver, and it came with the high tide coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All right, guys, what's going on, Fishing Machine Dan? Oh, look, man. look, look, Dan, look what we pulled out. We pulled this out of the woods. It's a nice little dinghy. It's nice. It's uh, we, we let the air out. It wasn't like that. It was like, all right, there's 15 more dollars. Oh, you're fine. You can do a video with that boat right here <laughs> and uh, drop your lines into the uh, the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's Woo! a perfect boat for shore fishing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it take out. it home. The thing is, my GoPro froze up. I have no footage of all this just oh, through. Oh man! And it's a pain trying to get footage from, yeah. from you know, a live stream. It's yep. just not high quality. No, it's not the same because it only lets you do 720. That's right, 720. Yeah, so. and, and, and then on my, on my thing, it makes it smaller. Oh really? So before I start to edit, I need to expand it. Which grains because, it out even more. Exactly. Yep. And, 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 and if I start to cut and, and, and paste, I would need to expand every single one. And it's impossible to match them so, all up. It's and I impossible. was looking into that. The way I edit. The only way you can do higher stream quality is 1080p, but it requires a computer. <sighs> oh, is that right? Yeah, but here's the problem. So if okay, if I pay for a uh, let's just say a Wi-Fi device, uh, like a remote hotspot. Yeah. Remote hotspots aren't unlimited data, so a live stream at 1080p would kill your 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 data like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Woo. All right, guys, we're out. We're out. I'll, I'll take it home and uh, I'm gonna start washing it up. Uh, I mean, it's gonna clean up easy. I mean, it's, oh, it is. Uh, this thing is in pristine condition. Yeah, like I, like you said. I mean, the main thing you noticed was the ropes. The ropes. Look, look, look at the ropes on the side here. I want to show you how clean. Look, look how clean this rope is. Look, look at that. Look at these ropes. I don't know. Look, 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 look at, look at the, the paddles in here. Pristine, pristine condition. Yep. Wait, we out. <laughs> we out. Woo, before and the. If it did have a small hole, which it doesn't because I was looking, no. the good thing is these have like those little patch kits which patch up easy. Look, so. look, look how good this board is. This board is wood. And overall, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, it doesn't have a whole yeah. lot of. Where to? I mean, it's got no. all the paint on it. I mean, that's the flex in here is probably from somebody sitting on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> even, even the wood that it's made to sit on is in pretty good condition, man doesn't look like it's been repainted no no and it's, it's about to have some fluorescent color on here <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it bud, man. yeah no problem man thank you man you're the of man. course of course i i, I would have really really pump and pump if i was helping to probably carry the camera can you well imagine? you see i mean you would have to and another thing is dragging it all because i mean one person the only way you would have been able to get it back was dragging it and you don't want to drag it no, not too much. I dragged yeah. it a little bit. Just yeah, but I mean, out. just that little drag is not that bad. But no, I mean, no, no. Drag, especially once you got to the concrete. Oh, yeah, you tear it up. Yeah, you it would it tear it up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you had to have somebody else help you out. Uh, and like I said, I had the perfect car so I was like, okay. <laughs> On the yard, Chucky. All right, guys, we out. We out. Maybe I'll do a video a live stream of me washing it up or do something. I don't know. Pull out my electric motor. <laughs> Pretend to, to sit on it. Figure I got to order a, an air pump. Pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Woo! Chucky, look at that, look at that. This is a huge. What do you think this weighs? Probably at least, when we both picked it up, I would say it's probably over 100, maybe at least 100. It's gotta be over 100. It's gotta be over 100, because I'd be able to pick it up by myself. I mean, but it's awkward size too. I'm gonna say 200 pounds. I think it's probably over 100. We're gonna, we'll, we'll call it 150. That way it'll be close to, to the world record catfish weight. <laughs> 150 pounds, guys, that's what I caught today. Bam! Woo! That's a, happy. PB right there. That's a PB. <laughs> I'm out. Woo for bam, buddy. Ah. <laughs> Woo. I'm out. I'm out before they come get me. See y'all later. See y'all later. 200 pounds. Yeah, I believe it this way. It, it's heavy. It's heavy. All right, guys. I'm going to close it out. See y'all later. Take care.